Hey there, I'm teacher Brittany from AIA. Are you eager to learn more essential phrases to speak English more fluently? Well, you're in luck because today we will guide you through 18 phrases to do just that. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming lessons. Okay, let's begin. Today's first phrase is catch 22. It's a catch 22. It's a catch 22. Catch 22. Catch 22. This is a problem that has bad results with any decision someone makes. I can't get a job without experience, but I can't get experience without a job. It's a catch-22. 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 Our second phrase is touch and go. It's still touch and go. It was touch and go for six hours. Touch and go. Touch and go. This is something that is very uncertain and risky, and the result could be good or bad. No one really knows what the result will be. The stock market is touch and go. It's still touch and go. It's still touch and go. It was touch and go for six hours. It was touch and go for six hours. I just wanted to let you know that we've just officially launched our new comprehensive listening course designed specifically to help Spanish speakers go from zero to effortlessly understanding real life English conversations, movies, and songs. But that's not all. It also helps you improve your vocabulary, pronunciation, and speaking skills. It's an all-in-one solution to take your English to the next level. For more details with limited time special discounts to join, check out the link in the description below. Another phrase is no can do. 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 This is to say something that cannot be done. Can you work late tonight? No can do. 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 Have you heard this phrase? Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. This means that time passes quickly. I can't believe it's already Friday. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Time flies. Let's try this expression. Top dog. Now I'm going to be top dog. He's top dog in Hungary. <laughs> top dog. Top dog. The person or thing that's the best or in charge. He's the top dog in the company. Now I'm going to be top dog. Now I'm going to be top dog. He's top dog in Hungary. He's top dog in Hungary. At the end of the day, you might say, call it a day. 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 This is to decide to stop working for the day. Oh. I'm tired. Let's 
call it a day. 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 Next up, we have close call. That was a close call. You had a very close call. Close call. Close call. When something dangerous or negative almost happens, but does not. Oh, that car almost hit me. It was a close call. That was a close call. That was a close call. You had a very close call. You had a very close call. I always find this phrase to be funny sounding. Full of beans. You are full of beans. Full of beans. Full of beans. This means to have a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Woo! The kids are full of beans today. You are full of beans. You are full of beans. Let's continue with the phrase fast and furious. 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 This is when something happens quickly and with a lot of energy. The car race was fast and furious. 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 Have you ever used this phrase? More or less. 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 Around? Not exactly. It'll take more or less an hour. More or less. More or less. More or less. More or less. Another expression is safe and sound. 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 This is when someone or something has nothing bad happen to them. They arrived home safe and sound. 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 What does this phrase mean? The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. I had the guest list. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. This is to have everything that's needed. I gave it the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. I had the guest list. The whole nine yards. I had the guest list. The whole nine yards. Let's try this next phrase. The big picture. You have to look at the big picture. You're not seeing the big picture here. The big picture. Picture. The big picture, which is the complete view or understanding. Let's focus on the big picture. You have to look at the big picture. You have to look at the big picture. You're not seeing the big picture here. You're not seeing the big picture here. Have you ever done this next phrase? Spill the beans. 
Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. Spill the beans. This is to reveal a secret shh or private information. She accidentally spilled the beans about the surprise party. Shh. Spill the beans. 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 Let's continue with the phrase back to square one. Here we are, back to square one. Oh God, back to square one. Back to square one. Back to square one. This means to start over from the beginning. After the setback, we're back to square one. Here we are, back to square one. Here we are, back to square one. Oh God, back to square one. Oh God, back to square one. Next, we have one of my favorite phrases. Think outside the box. You have to think outside the box. Gotta think outside the box, sister. Think outside the box. Think outside the box. This means to think creatively or differently. We need to think outside the box to solve this problem. You have to think outside the box. You have to think outside the box. Gotta think outside the box, sister. Gotta think outside the box, sister. Another useful expression is hit the ground running. We have got to hit the ground running. We're gonna hit the ground running. Hit the ground running. Hit the ground running. This means to start a task with a lot of energy to do what is required. He joined the team and hit the ground running. We have got to hit the ground running. We have got to hit the ground running. We're gonna hit the ground running. We're gonna hit the ground running. Our last phrase today is the last straw. That's it. That's the last straw. This was the last straw. The last straw. The last straw. This is the final thing that happens that someone cannot accept because it makes them upset. His lateness was the last straw for his boss. That's it. That's the last straw. That's it. That's the last straw. This was the last straw. This was the last straw. Okay, everyone, it's time to call it a day for today's lesson. I hope we gave you some useful phrases to hit the ground running on your English learning journey. Please share this video if you found it useful and give us a thumbs up. I hope to see you soon. Take care.